For the fifth time in four years, five students from the Belize High School, BHS, will be representing the Jewel at the first Global Challenge, International Olympic Style Robotics Competition. The team has been working diligently for the past three months to construct a robot from scratch from a kit provided by First Global. The marvelous machine was engineered and programmed to execute specific tasks. Tristan Bradley, a member of the team, explained that the goal of the competition is to engage the youths in an effort aimed at using technology to solve the world's problems. FJC is a global competition hosted by the company FIRST. FIRST is an international organization that hopes to bring young minds together across the world to solve the world's problems. So this year for FJC, every year FJC has a one grand challenge pick that we have to solve a problem about. This year's theme is carbon capture. Carbon is a, gr is a gas that's a part of the greenhouse gases which are the main causes of global warming. So this year's theme is that we have to find a way to solve carb this lower levels of carbon in the atmosphere. Team Belize performed exemplary in the first leg of the competition and will now be moving on to phase two, where they will be presenting their robot to a panel of experts. Jaden Chan explained that the event includes completing various tasks in a game themed around tackling climate change. Basically, before we began designing our robot, we needed to know how we wanted our robot to look like and function. So the first global competition has a game component where we would have to have collect and store carbon, carbon elements, which represent as black balls on the field. We'd have to take it to a compressor and drop it off at a compressor. The human player would either throw the ball into a central tube or have the robot to launch it. Then at the end of the game, there will be three bars, a low bar, middle bar, and a high bar. The robot has to either choose one of them to lock onto and climb up. But choosing the best design for their robot was not an easy task. The team initially crafted a prototype, which they used as a model for their final draft. Justin He explained that the machine was designed with specific regulations in mind and was retrofitted to be operated manually using the control from a video game console. During our building phase, we also have something called an engineering log. In this engineering log, we have step-by-step -step of what we did every day, explaining exactly descriptively on what we did and what we used. So in the case that we do need to go back and see what we missed out, you can, and if you want to change the robot, we can go back to see what we did and how to change it properly. First global, they give you something called a driver hub, where you connect the motors to the hub manually with wires. And then the hub is then acts like a Wi-Fi signal where you can connect to another monitor. And from the monitor, you can access the hub. You can program and configure everything, and then make and then attach, and then configure the buttons to control it to then control the robot. The school's group of eight students will not only be making their mark on the international stage, but as home as well. Melissa Choi spoke about their plan to partner with NGO Oceana Belize to combat climate change with the use of mangroves. There is a side challenge from First Global that is a challenge that deals with what we can do to our community to help with carbon capture. For us, we've decided that we will want to restore mangroves. If you see, there is a strip of mangroves next to a Hallover Bridge, which is quite close to us. And what we are planning to do is that we can better re renovate that place to make it a tourist site. And we're also planning to collaborate with uh, the tourism board and see if there's some sort of way where we can implement those tourist tours and allow them to also look at our mangroves because our mangroves are considered quite exquisite amongst the world. The Belize High School has developed a reputation with taking technology in the classroom to another level. Principal Jamie Lee Usher says their participation in this event shows the leaps and bounds the school has made in the field of robotics. It is our honor to represent Belize in something as trending as robotics from an educational perspective. So this is not anything that's limited to this one experience. This is a year-round annual program that builds every year an opportunity for our Belizean students to show what they can do. So this program is something that we're hoping other schools will reach out and find out how they can integrate it. Therefore, we're not only saying to other countries that Belize is there competitively, but to other students to have the potential to showcase what science, technology, engineering, arts and math can look like. 
Apart from providing the participants with extensive experience and knowledge in the field of robotics and information technology, the competition, according to Benny He, is a great way for young, brilliant minds to network and promote at their countries. With robotics, you really get to put in your creativity into it, you get to put in your innovation. And with First Global, one of the many benefits that it offers and one of the many unique opportunities that it offers is actually being able to meet all the different teams that come together in this competition. So with that, you can gain the perspectives of those teams, the ideas of those teams, and really come together and collaborate. Because then again, it's about cooperation, which is a term that they use to speak about everybody collaborating together in one collaborative effort. So also being there and being able to share about Belize to all those other countries, because again, every country has their own unique norms. Being there, sharing about Belize is one of the many great things that First Global has to offer for us. The team's logo is the Scarlet Macaw, which was inspired by a Mayan legend, which depicts the birds as the guardians of clean air. Vigie Alvarez, Love News.